Okay, so next we are going to look at the same case study. We've got our 50 year old male, but we're gonna look at the guarantees here. Same funding, same product, same splits, 10, 25, 33, and 50, 50. But let's take a look at the guarantees. So with the guarantees, we are going to look at the reduced paid up option because hands down, it'll produce more cash value. The only reason not to do this is if the individual wanted the ability to keep funding the policy when focusing purely on the guarantees here. So this one, what I will note about the example on the left, demonstrates a 1090, one year term rider. So that is your blended PUA rider. All it does is attach a decreasing term rider. But this is also assuming from day one, we receive zero dividends and the company charges the maximum allowable amount for the term insurance rider. Maximum they can based off their guaranteed charge scale. This is the kind of stuff I wanna see. And then we've got a flat seven year term rider on the other examples where we chop it off after seven years. This one, we keep on for 10 years. So this is the kind of stuff we wanna see, especially when we're looking at our own personalized situation, if your goal is to maximize your cash value short term and long term. So based off the guarantees, here we go. Same funding, 100 for 10 years, no dividend columns in this example, because these are peeled straight out of the software from the insurance carrier, guaranteed values only. This is the interesting stuff. 1090, 88% right off the bat, you'll see a lot of consistencies here. Highlighted in yellow is your break even point. Year seven on the 1090. 25.75, year 10, 33%, year 12, and 50-50, year 14. Keep in mind, these are the guarantees. So if we wanna see a worst case scenario, right, I kinda of like to do that sometimes, show me the worst up front, so this way when I approach the situation, <laughs> if I know what the worst is and it does better, I'm happy. If I am, sold based off an illustration, the best shiniest dividend rate, and it looks so great, and then it underperforms. Now I'm like, oh man, I don't want that. <laughs> That's why I'm so big on certain companies, because I've seen them cons consistently deliver and they disclose it to me. Now, so we see the break-even points. Let's look at this long range or long term. I go by year 30, just about age 80 here. You've paid in a million total. You've got 1.8. 25.75, guarantees. So this is what's guaranteed. I mean, it's pretty cut and dry here. No mex occurred in any of these. No mex occurred in our 35 year old male case study either. Look at the difference in cash value there. Same thing with the death benefit. So again, the purpose here is not to say we should always go with this option. Because with this particular insurance company, if I want the ability to keep paying in 100 forever, this option would likely be better. The 2575, because this particular company's rule is as follows. When it comes to PUAs, and the full information's in our agent training program, but when it comes to PUAs, when I have that OYT attached, I can add, 10x the base premium in PUAs. When that OYT is not attached, I can add another 3x on top of it. So the 25 base plus another 3x would be 75K for a total of 100. So I know that's technical stuff. And then the 35 year old male case study we looked at was a completely different company that didn't have that same rule. You can 10x it regardless of the term rider you use. But that's the kind of stuff we wanna know upfront, technical details. Not everybody wants that. Sometimes we go into it, sometimes we don't. But I'm starting to ramble here, looking <laughs> over at the policy over the long haul. So short, short term, long term, which one gave me the greatest, greater cash value? Guarantees, right? The lower base premium did. So my whole thing when it comes to a cash value life insurance policy, and this came from my background in building policies for companies, is if it's my money I'm paying into the policy, I want the long term benefit. But if I can have more upfront to use it today, because 
If I earn, call it between three and five percent or whatever in a life insurance policy over the life of the policy, that's great and all. But really where I'm going to yield my greatest return is if I'm investing in real estate, in my business, whatever it might be, opportunities that arise. Maybe I'm helping someone else start a business or something like that. Hey, let's do a joint venture together. That's the kind of stuff where you're going to yield your strongest strongest returns, investing in yourself and other opportunities that pop up. I look at this, here's a great place to position the money. The death benefit carries a ton of value. If anything happens to me, my wife is now protected. My company employees are, and employees are as well. But at the same time, I can use my money all the way through and I've got the maximum cash value over the long haul. So hope this helps. Reach out with any questions and we will talk to you soon. Hey guys, Steve Parisi here. If you enjoyed the content you just saw, please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for future videos. If you'd like more information or to see some custom policies for yourself, feel free to call or email our offices at the contact information below.